Welcome back. It's the big, big build-up show to the big, big, the huge, the massive uh, awards happening on the 12th of October at Birmingham National Indoor Arena, Brit Asia Music Awards 2013. And I'm in conversation with probably the guy who's been nominated for the most awards, uh, not because, you know, we're great buddies, but because he deserves it. Uh, absolutely. So could we just, before the break, we're just talking about the Jeet Karku video, which has been uh, nominated as one of the best videos as well. Um, do you think videos some way take, you know, like, for example, if you read a book and then they make a film of it, yeah. it takes your imagine, imagination? You, you, you're probably thinking, oh, it's going to look like this. And yeah. then when you see the picture, you think, oh, I didn't picture it like that. I mean, that's happened to me in the past with, uh, you know, with our earlier videos. They were just nothing like what our visions were when, I was, uh, when it was me and Specialist. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, um, like with Bunga Bergia on JK's album, yeah. like I imagined all like, you know, a traditional video. And that was what we wanted to do but then another song came out a few months before that and kind of blew us out the water like we were going to do that and then it ended up right you know and then we was like oh, we'll have to try something else and with england and that to that the vision that i had was uh, well initially so did jk was to make it similar to the gabba punjab because mm -hmm. the beat was the it was the same breed mm -hmm. um but then it didn't end up as that so um that's something that i'd say to me it's quite important that you know whatever uh, picturization i've got in my head when I'm making something, I would like the video to look like that. So yeah. that's something that we're going to, uh, that's another thing we're going to be looking at. In, in future, you'd, yeah. you'd keep a closer rein on, on, yeah. on the music. Obviously, when it's for a, a vocalist, if, you're, if, I'm, if I'm producing for another singer, they've got their vision too. Yeah. But I would definitely have that conversation when the song's getting made, like, look, I'm making this music, I've got this picture in my head, like, you know, you know, and just kind of mention that. Yeah. Mm. Obviously, best uh, music producer uh, or, or, or best producer, that's another nomination. Tell me about your production journey, actually. How do you keep evolving? How do you keep on coming with new ideas? And obviously, you, on your music, maybe it's my thinking, but there's, there's that sort of that rawness, uh, that dissiness that, that comes out of your music. And obviously, your sound is, is, is not samples. Uh, you know, you just previously said you play all the instruments your, yeah. yourself. And, I mean, is that, is that a sort of a decision that you've decided that this is how I'm going to sound? Uh, no, yeah, it's got to be... So there's two sides to it. It's either the... Because I used to be a hip-hop producer right. back in the early 90s. Uh, 92, from 92 onwards, 91 even. Yeah. And um, so, you know, like, that's like... What, 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 what is that? 21 years? Wow. 22 years, 91, you know? Um, I've been so producing... you started when you were about six? Yeah. yeah well, a bit older. A okay. bit older. <laughs> so, yeah, 22 <laughs> years I've wow. been doing music. 22 yeah. years, so probably longer than... Uh, a lot of people in this industry, maybe a lot of the people that are nominated mm -hmm. for things, so mm -hmm. um, not to sound arrogant or whatever, but I just, it's, I think it's, like, it's you know, informing yeah. people that I, yeah. I, I've, I didn't even enter the scene uh, until years of training mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. uh, doing things, you know, like, um, so the, that's a and hard who question. Who did you learn your musical art, art from? If you Wicked know. question, I'm glad, you know, yeah. I should always mention this, yeah. my style is Breathe Them Sing. Right, um, right. Uh, but, I, mean, I mean, you have mentioned Pritam Singh before, uh, but yeah. obviously that's... Well, that's not enough, I should mention yeah. more, you know, he's my yeah. teacher. Yeah. He teaches me rag, kirtan, right. uh, classical and uh, classical tabla. I've been learning of him about 14 years or something wow. now. And, um, you know, um, he's just... A, He's just a genius, you know, he's, he's, a, he's, a, he's my teacher, you know. What I meant is the studio art, because that's, I mean, obviously, production, production that, art, that, that's a whole, it's a different ball game, really. You can is, learn the key, yeah, then yeah. you can learn the rags, the, the beat, the tabla. But the production side of things, that's, you know, wh where did that side of uh, things come for you? That started from the hip-hop, you know, uh, I did, uh, I mean, initially, my cha, -cha first taught me tabla and dolki. Uh, initially, it was him who taught me first. Um, so we had music in the house, but, and obviously, you know, like everyone says, I'll listen to Kuldeep Moran, which mm -hmm. I did, actually, actually you did. Yeah, you did, yeah. And um, so with the hip-hop thing, I don't know why, just when I used to hear hip-hop back then, the drum patterns used to stand out to me. And then, I don't know, I used to mess around, you know, trying to copy them, and I don't know how it ended up happening. So when I started learning the drums, I just... I picked it up like in super, super, mm. super speed. And then from being a drum player first and then learning tabla and dolki and dol, it's a crazy story actually. I, I, yeah. I'd like to share this. Um, I, I, used to, I used to be obsessed with the dol. You know, I used to listen to Sakshinder Shindab even before he was 
producing when he was a musician yeah. on other people's yeah. albums. And for me, he's the best all player in the England. And no one can do a Thedicate better than him. I'd say in the whole world, you know, in, in my opinion. Um, and when I used to listen to him, I was just like, look, I, I was obsessed. I was like, how can somebody get all these sounds out in that speed with just two sticks? Hmm. So it used to fascinate me. And, uh, and then um, learning the, the double iron dolki, the ball and stuff, I remember going in the garden and going to a hedge and getting this twig off, a long one, going on my dolki. And I was like, it's got to be like this, you know, how does, how does, how does he do it? <laughs> and, um, but you, that wasn't going to work on a dolki with a, with a, you oh, know, right. a twig, right? My chacha's house, uh, I went round one time, I was waiting for him, as soon as he went to work, I sneaked upstairs, got his doll out. Of course, in dolls and things, just to say, in those days, it's not so long ago, but what, available as they are these back days, in, aren't uh, they? Yeah. 90, Three, yeah. four, this was, uh, oh, I swear to God, I'm no, I even recorded this in the tape snap, otherwise I would have proved this, right? I learned I, everything that I had in my head, every roll, every thirdicate, every luggy, every beat, every, I think in 10 minutes I was playing everything that, wow, okay. you know, like, I was playing every thirdicate, everything within 10 minutes, yeah. you know. And that was because of the double iron door, yeah. just all because of the ball. Because in, in, and it was inside, you know, it was in my head from listening to great people like Sukhsinda Shinda, you yeah. know, and like, and um, at that time, there was no one who could play door like the way he did. So, yeah. you know, and then I was like, yo, like, I can do this, yeah. you know, like, it was, uh, but, but, it was a mad thing. I'm sorry, coming back, I'm, I'm coming back to my, the studio work, that's, that's a that, different ball game, isn't it? Yeah. Look, you know, the studio, I, mixing sounds, you, that, how, to, how to manipulate get, vocals. That question's getting answered, actually, yeah. because I, I think it comes from being a musician. Right. It's from right. being a musician. Right. Absolutely. Like, in them days, you couldn't call yourself a producer if you couldn't play. There was no such thing as producers, you know. Then it was bands. Right. It was a right. team thing. You know, um, apart from Baldev Mustanna, mm -hmm. there was no other producers. And then came Amajit Sidhu, Sukhshinder Shinda. Uh, you know, see, look, I can't even think. And then Kaljit Bamra mm -hmm. and Deep, Deepak Kazanchi, right? Just, that was it. A few people, oh, you know, Kazanchi. that was, this is it. And those people were real musicians. So I did the Bopa Rai, wasn't Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. On, I, remember, I remember him from Get Real, from being yeah. honest. Uh, but I know before that. But there was only a few, you know, and, and Sukhshinder Shindar, for me, was the first multi-instrumentalist where he could play tabla, dolki, the tol, uh, harmonium, then the keys. And I was like, for me, that was, I, what, in my opinion, was a true pr producer, in mm -hmm. my opinion. Mm -hmm. And, you know, where... where you know, to be that good at all them instruments is why his music was so great. Mm -hmm. And, you know, Punjab BMC was my, my other influence. So um, spending time, a lot of years with him, you know, he's close, close Punjab friend. BMC, yeah. so you spent you know, under, under his wing, you were under his wing. Playing Dolki and stuff right, on, on his right, albums. Right. Uh, Tumbi and stuff playing, you know, things on his albums. And, um, you know, they were the two people, because me being a hip-hop producer, yeah. putting my hip-hop production with uh, the Punjabi stuff, it was what made true school because I was doing hip hop before hip hop initially got sampled by Bangladesh artists. That's mm -hmm. how it came into this game. People sampled it, but I was actually creating hip hop before these people even entered the game. I'm right. not going to say who. Yeah. So I was actually creating it up. So me, my sound is a, is a it, it's but it's Punjabi Sangeet with hip hop made into into one rather than that and that put together. It's made from one head. Right. You know, it's made from one nucleus, and and then mixing and everything, all the studio recording. I mean, like T L, who's who's part of my team. Um, he, when I'm playing all the instruments, uh, he'll record it. That's why you know, from the room that we record and everything's just got to be top notch. Mm -hmm. You know, the mix downs which I mix down myself, all the programming took years and years and years of learning. So I I, I don't understand how other these other people can enter the game without doing the hard graft. How do they do it? Go on. Yeah, how, I mean, how do they do it? I mean, yeah, I, I, you don't understand, but I know you do, but how, how do they do I, it? I learnt you know. all these things. I'd say, before Word is Born, 16 years, that is. Mm. Yeah. No, sorry, tw 12 years. 12 years of graft, then I came into the game. So people thought we were newcomers, but we weren't newcomers, mate. Mm. 12 years, there ain't no newcomer. Mm -hmm. you, you know, there were producers who had a couple of albums that would probably been... I've probably been producing than most people that were in the industry at that time, apart from the bands of veteran musicians. So mm -hmm. that's why we made an impact, because we were not newcomers, you know? Right. And even before that, I was working on Punjab BMC's uh, playing percussion 
for, on his tracks and stuff. So mm -hmm. I was learning off the best people like him. You so Mundia to bach kare? Punjabi MC or is it? Is it? Is it? Literally a week after that was released, that's when I met him, and that's when it all started from there. Right. Okay. Um, Music Awards 2013. What you, would, you, would you be playing with Ajit? Will you be on stage? Uh, would you be giving us a little appearance? You know, it's, it's, it's the build-up to the Music Awards. Yeah. The, Bring in something he, with the, us. He, he will be doing a... He will, obviously, he's performing, but there will be maybe a semi-live oh. uh, part thing to it as well. So I will be maybe involved in that. He's asked me to, so... Um, you know, if I can just get this repetitive strain injury off my foot. Oh, no, what's happened? What's happened? <laughs> it's just a bit, obviously, because I play the instruments, like, yeah. you know, there's a lot of practice goes in, and I think I've overdone it these last couple of years. I was going to say that. Do you, mus do you musicians have some health and safety <laughs> certificate in the studio or working so many hours I mean, and yeah. repetitive? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that happens, you know. Carpal like, tunnel syndrome, you can get I anything. Harmonium is an instrument that I uh, take very, very seriously, so... Uh, you know, if you listen to the pieces I played on uh, on the albums, uh, on truck, on truck. yeah, you, you'll, you'll is know. Is that Korean? Is that Hermione? No, it's a, a badja, wow, okay. Hermione man. But you know, and it takes years and years and years. It's like it's like Shaolin level practice, which uh, yeah, it's uh, having a bit, taking a bit of toll on me. So, are you into Shaolin? I can see Bruce Lee. Yeah, yeah, yeah so, um, there. Yeah, I've been uh, doing martial arts for. Is that something you want to? Or just seven years. Protection going into the industry. No, it's, I was a martial artist before I was a music producer. I was actually, you know, I've won a few titles. Was, I'm a black belt in Taekwondo, I was the youngest black belt in England. I was 10 years old. Now he tells me, he's been having all these banter with me, I'm thinking, that's all right, you know, I'm within his <laughs> Now he tells me he's a black belt. No, that, um, was, that was a different <laughs> life, you know, that was a different life. Uh, Do you feel you've kind of... No, 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 I've been, I mean, uh, I did break my ankle a couple of years ago, so, uh, you know, uh, but I'm going to be getting back into that as well. But that was a... A diff that was my full time, you know, that was a goal of, mm. you know. Are you still on stage, Sook? Do you still perform on stage? I know I've obviously seen you play the on, on religious uh, events and things like that. But do you still perform as true school? If somebody wanted true school at the wedding or anything like that, are you still, how do you, what, do you go there with your entourage kind of thing or with your, with your boys? I mean, I mean, what it, kind of stuff do you do on stage? Um, you know, we've got a live band as well where right. I, I usually go on the double. Sometimes I'm on the keys as well. Um, but we've also got a, a, a roadshow, uh, a true school roadshow, and we, we do a lot of gigs as well, you know, club gigs as well. Whereas I don't personally DJ, but the set will be done by me. I will, I will be doing the playlist like this, this track that's on Twitch itself. So you oversee so, the whole... Yeah, yeah. Well, it's actually me just doing the set, but not physically pressing the decks, but it, it, it's actually me. Pressing the button. Yeah. Brilliant to, <coughs> to have you here on the show. It's the build-up to British Asian Music Awards 2013. Speaking to Suk, uh, before I let him go, um, you've got Bruce Lee. Is it Bruce Lee or Jackie Chan or Jet Li? Or are you going to say, how could you even ask that question? See, uh, I'd say it's Bruce Lee. Why? Then I'd say it's Donnie Yen. Okay. okay. Then I'd say Jackie Chan and then Jet Donnie Li. Yen named some of his films? Cause yeah. Um, uh, Iron Monkey. So you want to watch that one? Okay. Yeah. Now he's um, Ip Man one and two as well. Ip Man. Oh yeah. Yeah, he's a bad man. But he's oh, done he's done loads of bad boy films. Though, but I'm going a bit blank because you, when you just okay, okay. But yeah, like Bruce Lee's the he's best film. Bruce Lee's best film ever. I'd say. I compare it to Kalip Manik, where I'd say, Mahandi Amar was Enter the Dragon, but Sabah Tadla was Fist of Fury.